everyone and welcome back to Midnight Theories. And if you're new here, welcome to Midnight Theories. Forget everything you thought you knew about K-pop. Welcome to your new home for all K-pop related theories, urban legends, and news. Enjoy your stay. Consider dropping a like, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell to be notified when I release a new video. Many of you left comments under the first video and brought to my attention of other distasteful and horrific pranks that idols went through, so I had to make a part two. I'd like to thank all of these viewers who brought these to my attention because, without you, I wouldn't have known any of these. Also, all the links to the full videos will be in the description below. Oh, and to make a quick announcement, I just opened up a Discord server for this channel where we can talk about K-pop theories, K-pop news, and basically build our little community with people who have similar interests as I do. I wanted a place where I can easily interact with all of you and build a stronger and supportive community. And now, let's get straight to the video. Not too long after that prank, Jackson was on a different variety show where he was once again a victim of a hurtful prank. In an episode of Hitmaker Season 2, hosted by the infamous duo Donnie and Connie, Jackson alongside other idols were told that one of them would get a chance to fly abroad with the duo and take time to relax and unwind. The boys competed in a challenge and Jackson won. He was told that he'd be flying to Hong Kong and he'd have to meet the host at 4 in the morning so that they could drive together to the airport. Jackson woke up early and was eager and excited for his trip. Donnie and Connie were informed by the manager beforehand that Jackson would not be able to go on the trip with him due to his busy schedule. So what did they do? They decided to amp up Jackson's excitement and discreetly tease the situation all the way to the airport. <laughs> Come on. As they arrived, they had Jackson change his clothes in the van and asked the manager to drive Jackson to Music Bank for his rehearsal and apologize for them on their behalf. In the middle of getting dressed, the manager got in the van and started driving as Donnie and Connie waved bye to Jackson. Jackson was clearly confused and thought he was being pranked. <laughs> He was right that it was a prank, but not in the way he thought it was. Ghost pranks are probably the most common prank pulled on idols. It's usually a quick scare and it's obvious that it's a prank. In this case, girl group CLC were informed that the production team would be doing a ghost prank on two of their members that weren't present at the time. The girls were set to have a fake interview in the studio and a ghost would appear and everyone in the room would act oblivious to what was going on. Member Sung Yoon, who was being pranked, was a little uncomfortable in the beginning when the ghost appeared and tried to laugh it off assuming it was a prank and looked at her member Soren for comfort. As the interview went on, the ghost inched closer and closer causing Sung Yoon to scream and brought to tears. <laughs> Yosei's Unbin also felt victim to the ghost prank. When Unbin saw the ghost, she let out a nervous laugh and followed along with the interview, ignoring the ghost's presence. During the interview, the lights turned off, causing the studio to be pitch black, and the ghost stood next to Unbin. She was scared and in tears and could no longer continue the interview so the production team had to end the prank. While not necessarily a K-pop group, Wavy is a Chinese subunit of NCT. In an episode of their reality show Dream Plan, the boys were given a chance where they had to overcome their fears and collect pieces of a microphone. One of the members, Henry, is known to have a giant phobia of frogs. In this challenge, Henry alongside his member Lucas were locked in a room of live frogs and had to find clues around the room to get one of the microphone pieces. Henry could not even inch one step outside the corridor of the room and was already panicking at the sight of the pictures of frogs on the wall. And once he found out that there were live frogs in the room, he jumped up Spider-Man style on the walls and was in distress over the situation. Uh, 
He pled with the staff to let him out of the room because he could not handle the situation. His members were concerned seeing his reaction and asked if they could help with the challenge. Two of the other members were let into the room and Henry fled out the room as soon as the door opened. The three remaining members finished the challenge and successfully continued on to the next challenge. Just like in part one with Neon Punch, Lovelace was also pranked that they'd be disbanding after one year of promoting as a group. The girls were individually shown a video that asked them a series of questions and showed a montage of their highlights as a group, leading up to their fake disbandment. During the filming, all the members got super emotional thinking that it was the end of the road for the group. It was then revealed that they weren't really disbanding. The girls became more thankful for one another and were happy that this wasn't the end. This wasn't the only prank pulled on the girls. Lovelace also had to go through a horrible ghost prank that really traumatized some of the members. The girls were individually taken to the studio to record. The staff member pretended something was off with the sound and left the room. The lights kept flickering and the sound got distorted and an unfamiliar figure appeared on the side of the window. All the members reacted the same. Well, almost all the members. <laughs> Their instant reaction was to scream and cry and try to get out of the room as fast as possible. Luckily, they were all able to laugh about it after the fact. Girls' Generation is a powerhouse girl group and everyone knows who they are. They are THE K-pop girl group. But before they were such a huge success and a household name, they were once a rookie group trying to make it big like any other group. During their rookie years, the girls held a concert at a school. The room was full of students with blank stares as the girls performed. The students were told beforehand to act cold and emotionless through the performance. The girls were powering through but were stopped midway once the host interrupted due to the audience lack of enthusiasm. The crowd hissed and shouted at the girls and yelling that they wanted the previous performers back on stage to replace the girls. The girls were confused and started to get emotional holding back tears. But then the host quickly ended the girls pain and revealed that it was a hidden prank. The girls were instantly relieved and were able to perform their song with confidence. A similar prank was pulled on Girls' Generation member Taeyeon. The girls were told they'd be holding a concert at Taeyeon's alma mater and Taeyeon was happy and excited to show her juniors how hard she's been working. Once again, the crowd was informed beforehand to be emotionless throughout the performance, except only be emotionless and act uninterested only towards Taeyeon. They screamed and cheered for all the members, but became silent every time Taeyeon took the spotlight. She noticed right away that the crowd was not reacting to her every time her parts came up and started to get emotional as the performance continued. The crowd even started cheering for her fellow members by name instead of her name. She did her best to play it off and keep smiling and it hurt to watch. Her member Tiffany quickly noticed that the crowd was acting up and tried to move the attention towards Taeyeon. The girls were asked to get off the stage by the manager and were told that they would end the concert. Then it was revealed that it was all a prank. Taeyeon was relieved and she was moved to tears by the overwhelming love from her juniors. What if you were told today you only had an X amount of days or months to live? How would you feel? What would you do with your limited time? That's one question Bami from A Pink, which two other artists had to go through and think about. In a pilot episode for Great Inheritance, all three artists were sent to go get a health checkup for the show. And unbeknownst to them, all three were told they only had an X amount of months to live. For example, Bami was told she only had three months left to live, while the other two were given one month or six months. I'm sure you can all empathize with how badly they must have felt when they received the news. They were handed a document that told them they only had a limited time left with their family despite their busy schedule. They should take time to take care of themselves and spend more time with their families. <laughs> I couldn't find the rest of the episode no matter how long I tried, 
So I can't tell you how they revealed to them that it was just a prank. But assuming that it aired in 2015 and we're now in 2020, that Bami knows that she didn't actually have three months to live. Similar to Girls' Generation, Sister were also the victim of the school prank. The girls were invited to perform at a school. Once they got on stage, they were confused by the crowd's reaction, or lack thereof. The girls went on to perform their song as the crowd stared blankly at them. Ugh, and I could feel the uncomfortable vibe through the screen. The performance was quickly interrupted as the host asked the crowd to show more enthusiasm, and the girls once again started their set, and not a few lines in till the host interrupted again. And what I assume is the manager also spoke up and lectured the crowd, and the girls grew uncomfortable. It then cuts to a countdown on the screen, and the girls were even more confused. On the screen, it was revealed that it was all just a prank, and the girls were happy and had the biggest smile on their faces. Member Soyu was even in tears. Afterwards, the girls were finally able to perform their song in full. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Am I right? Shinwa is the longest lasting boy group in K-pop history, and they have way over surpassed the K-pop 7 year curse and has never lost a member or made any lineup changes. But what if that wasn't the case? In an episode of Infinity Challenge, each member of Shinwa were pranked with a fake news story. And in this case, member Junjin was informed that he would no longer be a member of Shinwa and he was getting kicked out. He was woken up early in the morning and was bombarded by press outside his door, questioning why he was kicked out of the group. He was clearly confused and retreated back inside his home. The host of the show called him because he was scheduled to film with them but hasn't left his house. You could hear Junjin emotional over the phone right before he hung up. Junjin told the host that he was perplexed with the sudden news that he called his agency to see what was going on and he even started to check online to make any sense of the situation. Now I thought Simon's prank from part 1 was the worst hidden camera prank, but I found one that is right up there. I want to apologize to my German viewers and fans of the group for how badly I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of their name. I can't tell if it's Zetsky's or how to pronounce it the Korean way, but you get it, hopefully. <laughs> the boys were on set to film a commercial when all of a sudden an accident happened. Sunghun was given a prop to shoot down Jiwon for one scene. Sunghun believed that was loaded, he ran over to be by his member's side and cried over his body believing he accidentally his member. The fake ambulance showed up and Sunghun was uncontrollably sobbing and carried what he thought was his member's lifeless body to the stretcher. Juwon suddenly opened his eyes and revealed that it was all just a prank. Sunghun could not stop sobbing until he calmed down and eventually stopped. I could not even imagine how traumatizing this could have been. Again, pranks are meant to be fun and playful for both parties. Pranks should not put people in intense and highly emotional and traumatizing situations. I just want to put it out there that most of the time, everything we see on TV in most cases is scripted. However, just something about all these pranks don't sit well with me. Do you believe any of these pranks could have been scripted? Which prank hit you the most? Or do you believe none of these pranks were too extreme? Let me know all your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. As well as the channel's new Discord server. I can't wait to see you there. And as always, thank you for watching and enjoy your stay. I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get the steak